Stevia video, take five. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching the Green Dream Project, Jim here. And Jessica. And it's taken us a few iterations to get to this point, but we're here today to talk about stevia. We wanna talk about why you might wanna grow it, how you might wanna grow it, and if it's right for you to grow. All right, so let's start at the beginning, shall we? Jess, take it away. You're all. I'm gonna feed you some of my energy. Stevia is a plant that we definitely want to try growing this year. If you're not familiar with stevia, it's also called sweet leaf, and it's the stevia rebodiana plant. It's called sweet leaf because it can be used as a natural sweetener. It's actually about 200 times as sweet as sugar. What? 200 times? That's pretty powerful. What do you think the uh, street value of that is? <laughs> anyway, that's the fifth time I made this joke. <laughs> but we definitely want to try growing it because we are trying to cut back on our sugar intake. So if that's something that you need to watch in your diet or if you're cutting back on carbohydrates, Stevia might be something that you want to look into as a zero calorie natural sweetener. It's a good way to cheat. Cheat? Yep. You're totally cheating. Cheating the system? The system. <laughs> by getting your sweetness without calories and ill effects. And stevia is something that can be found in some stores. You might find it in a powdered form. Crew's interested in what you got. It's crinkles. Crinkles. Not he, too. <laughs> he knew right away. It was like, oh. Might find it in liquid. Whoop. You don't have to. <laughs> we're not like advertising. We're not. We're not. We're not. Brands here. Yeah, we're not trying to, even though you've great value, we know what brand that is. <laughs> we're not endorsing this. And actually, if you look on the ingredients in some of these things, you may find other chemicals or synthetic ingredients that you might not want to ingest. This one has maltodextrin in it. You don't, you don't want to ingest that. This one, I think, is a pure stevia extract, uh, but of course, sometimes these things are highly processed and it's gonna strip away other nutrients from the plant that you might get if you're consuming it as a whole leaf. So even your pure extracts are, it's just not gonna be the same, right? Well, I prefer to eat what I grow anyway. But that's the thing about eating like a whole food rather than an extract. Let's say that's a pure extract and it might be the case, but once, it's, once you strip it of all the other plant materials, you're missing a lot of other micronutrients, other S elements inside that plant, which could perhaps benefit you. Do some burping and nose picking now. Burping nose picking break. <laughs> and some of the properties of this plant, especially consumed whole, uh, are medicinal. Medicinal. Get out of town. And it's been used traditionally for different ailments including use as a diuretic, used to lower blood pressure, lower blood sugar. Stevia is a perennial plant. 
You gotta love the perennials. So here we could probably grow it outdoors year round. Uh, it can be winter hardy in zones eight, which is where we are, or warmer. Just, you know, protect it with mulch and it's supposed to be able to survive the winter. In cooler areas, you might have to grow it in a container indoors in the winter. But it can grow in containers, which is cool. Above eight, it's great. Below eight, keep it straight indoors in the winter. Okay, if you wanna remember it. <laughs> <laughs> Will that help you remember? <laughs> Another thing I like about stevia is you can pick leaves off the plant as you need them and use them fresh, or you can dry the leaves and store them dried or powdered. I think some people kind of complain that, especially when it's used in larger quantities, that it has sort of a bitter or like medicine-y aftertaste to it, but I've heard that if you make like an extract using just water or alcohol, like you can do with some herbs, it helps to improve the flavor. So you can probably make your own extracts. And it's always better when you do it yourself because then you don't got any additives, you know exactly what's going into it. You can tweak it how you want to tweak it. DIY, that's what it's all about. Oh yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this little chat about stevia. I know we did. Definitely a plant we're thinking about growing out here. Definitely check out our next video as we talk about garden plants. So if you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up. Definitely subscribe because we want to see you around. We know you're there. Stick around. <laughs> Share it with a friend or two because they want to know about stevia and they want to know about all the benefits it has. Leave a comment down below. Let us know your thoughts about Stevia. We're interested. And check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Well, thanks a lot for watching us, everyone. We appreciate you stopping by. Thanks so much. We'll catch you in the next video.